Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Are you interested in cybersecurity? Well, if you are, I got you covered. We're going to be going over the coolest cybersecurity jobs in 2024. So watch till the end and let me know what is your favorite. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And let's jump into the video and have some fun. All right, everyone. So now we're going to go over the 20th, the 20 coolest careers in cybersecurity. So I just went, I skimmed through it, and I'm going to tell you, there's some not so cool ones on there, but I'll leave that up to you. And you can go ahead, once you're at SANS and you see the 20th coolest uh, jobs, careers or whatever, and you can actually get the PDF and download it. You can also do that and uh, check that out as well. So we'll go through it. Let's just, let's see if I can download this. Let me see if I can uh, save this. I'll just download. That's fine. Let me just do that. And let me just open this up. All right. So let's see if I can. Okay, cool. That's that's a little prettier. All right. So this is a little small. I'm going to try to make this a little bigger so we can uh, go through one by one. Remember, there's 20 of them, right? So I'm not going to read everything for verbatim, but I want to go through which ones I think are really entertaining and really cool. Let me make this a little bigger. Let me see if I can make that just a tab. Let me do it 300. Oh, that's a little, that's a little too big. 250? I think that should be good. And all right, cool deal. So the number one on this list is Threat Hunter. I would obviously say the same because threat hunting, there's a lot of bad guys out there that want to get into your environment or if there's any threats out there. We want to make sure as an internal team, we can do threat hunting, make sure, you know, these, these bad guys, like I said, uncovering adversaries or the footprint or the foot yeah footprints uh based on development intelligence right so this is super super critical number one is, is definitely a good one all right so number two here is red teamer this is a cool one right i think i uh where this one says hacker suck i really like this shirt it's actually really comfortable but red teaming is is, is the cool fancy stuff right so obviously this is really important because you read, you know, you, you, your organization can simulate it in adversary and all that good stuff. So I think it's very, very important and that's a good career to get into, right? So number three here is digital forensics, right? Cyber defense uh, forensics analyst. This is really cool if you're looking to get more into the, the side of evidence and, and crime and looking at some stuff like, uh, like hacking forensics this is a really good career for you, right? You can work for law enforcement, you can work for law firms, you know, you can do so many, so many gigs with that, right? Number four here is purple teaming. What is a purple team? We have a red team like we just saw, and then we have something called a blue team on a defense. And now we can just come together and make a purple team. So it's really, it's really important because it brings us together. And then we can, you know, hash out any red teaming stuff, any blue teaming stuff, and we can test the controls that are you know that are in your in your organizations like your SOC, your your defender teams okay number five here is malware analysis analyst so obviously you can, if you want to get into reverse engineering look at malware obviously this this one is really cool this is not my uh not my cup of tea not my bread and butter but it's it's definitely something i've been tinkering with over the last couple of months as you guys have seen and heard but it's definitely, um, it's definitely way out of my wheelhouse. I can't speak very proficient with it, but I, I know a little bit, right? So the next one here is a CISO. I'll let the CISOs keep their job. I'm not really interested in being a CISO. So, you know, obviously they're the, they're the businessmen of the cybersecurity, right? They're the executive cyber leadership in your organization, or they have what's called VCSO, which is virtual CISO, and you have a consulting firm that we can act as your CISO if you don't have the budget or if you don't have that, uh, yeah, if you don't have really have the budget, right? So number seven here is blue teamer. That's where we just started. So we've seen red, we've seen purple, now it's blue. This is all the defenders, like it says, all around defenders, and we're gonna make sure you're, you know, the adversaries stay out of the infrastructure or not only the adversaries, maybe some someone did something like, you know, EB bypass or execution policy bypass in PowerShell. And we get an alert saying, okay, Sally, why are you trying to run this command? Why are you trying to install something? Blah, blah, blah. So this is, you know, the blue teamer. And there's a lot of jobs in this field. 
there's many, many jobs in this field. And there's a lot of people that are hiring for security engineers, blue teamers to make sure their organization is safe. Number eight, here is a security architect, nice and engineer. Obviously this is per, you know, this is the people that will architect and engineer everything for the blue team, right? Maybe the blue team will manage and maintain and maybe like, yeah, administer the tools that, you know, an architect or security architect built upon, right? We, you know, the security architect builds it and the blue teamers administer it, right? So this is, this is pretty, pretty cool. All right, so let's go to number nine. Let's screw all the way over and come to number nine. All right, did my thing get locked up? Whoa. All right, so number nine here, we have cyber defense, incident response, and law, well, that's a long name, law enforcement, counterintelligent forensics analyst. I never even heard of this, to be honest. So obviously that sounds important, but God only knows what it means. So I think I know what it means, right? It's pretty much self-explanatory, defense, incident responder. You know, this probably, you know, you're gonna work more in the law enforcement, respond to different teams. Maybe, you know, the goal, well, let's just read it. While preventing breaches is always the ultimate goal, one, okay. So pretty much they wanna make sure the attackers are detected, right? That's pretty much what it is. And you guys can read up on this, right? So that's not something I'll be interested in. All right, so I'm just, this one looks pretty cool, right? So this is a lot of cybersecurity jobs are out there right now are cybersecurity analysts, engineer, systems security analysts or whatever. So this, this is a proactive role. So we're gonna actually look at different logs. We're gonna look at different tools we're gonna su suggest new tools, right? Put new tools in place for the organization in order for them to stay up to par in their security posture, right? That's why this, you know, role would be important. That's what I would think. All right, let's see number 11. Oh, this one looks cool. So OSINT investigator analyst. So OSINT is open source intelligence, right? So we can use everything out on the internet to do some research and anything that's accessible on the internet we can utilize that for investigation purposes to look up different companies, people, you know, there's a lot of stuff, right? So they support uh, people in other areas, cybersecurity, intelligence, military business, and the finders of these things were known as sec uh, knowers of secrets. <clears throat> so this is, you know, because there's a lot of data on the internet and we never know what is accessible and what is not. And doing some OSINT, you'll see what is and what's not. So the next one, number 12 here, we have a technical director. So information system, uh, yeah, system security manager. You know, with, you know, why is this important? With a wide range of technology used, obviously we're gonna go ahead and manage all the information security technologies in this role. So obviously you have to have some kind of cybersecurity talent and yeah, so a technical director plays a role in successful operations of an organization. So make sure everything's compliant, make sure everything is good and running smoothly. Okay, let's come all the way down to number 13. This is a hot one today too, cloud security analyst. I think this is a super, super important one because Azure, GCP, AWS, private clouds, different cloud solutions, you wanna make sure, you know, you're like it says, you know, we have an on-premise, but maybe something like uh, Azure AD or Intra ID, or maybe you have some kind of local Active Directory that authenticates into the cloud. And it's super important to make sure all your cloud entities are secure, right? Because everything is moving to the cloud. So intrusion detection, SOC analysts. So this is a lot, a lot of jobs now. They, you know, these titles don't get really so caught up on the title. But this is really good to understand. So if you see a SOC analyst, we know what they're gonna do. A SOC analyst helps organizations greater speed in identifying attacks and remediating them before they cause any more damage. This might sound, you know, repetitive or same, you know, the same as a SOC engineer or detection engineer. A lot of them overlap, I'm not gonna lie, you know? But yeah, this is, uh, you know, you can, in this role, you can, you know, required to do any monitoring, 
security monitoring, vulnerability management, incident response functions, and, uh, and much more, that's for sure. All right, number 15 is security awareness officer. Never really heard of this title, security awareness and communications manager. So what is important about this one? People have become the top drivers at indicating breaches today. All right, so this is pretty much saying, okay, you know what security awareness training is, right? We make sure, because the human element is probably the weakest link in any organization. So now me having, you know, doing some OSINT, like we just talked about, right? Open source intelligence, and we were able to find some information about an organization, and we can try to social engineer them. And with the right training, the security awareness, they can be aware of, okay, Pat's calling, but we, we don't know who Pat is, right? So we can, you know, test, uh, actually not test, like talk to the security team, say, hey, is there a Pat Gorman that works for this organization? No, okay, so we know it's a scam, right? So that's that. All right, let's keep going. All right, so this one is a vulnerability researcher, exploit developer. This is exploit developer that's way over my head. Vulnerability management, yeah, we can do some vulnerability management, we can do some vulnerability researching. I guess uh, exploit develop developer is uh, it's pretty pretty advanced stuff, right? If you, I don't know, in my opinion. So why is this important? So because researchers are, you know, consistently finally rolled vulnerabilities in popular products and applications ranging from IoT devices, which is Internet of Things, and commercial applications and network devices. Like in your house, you probably have a router, you have a computer, you have this, that, and the other. Each one of these devices connect to the internet. With that being said, it's susceptible to some kind of exploit or vulnerability if it's in the wrong hands of a certain individual, right? So just always make sure that's why patching is super important. They can show your stuff is up to date. And if it's not up to date, make sure it's up to date. And if you can't update it, talk to your security team. Then that's what, you know, when risk comes in place, when you, you know, make sure you're taking that risk on. <clears throat> so now we have three more. So let me get a drink because I'm really thirsty. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. All right, sorry about that. So application pen tester, secure software. So what this is, you know, with application pen testers, there's a lot of pen testers today or the pen testing jobs that they need app testers, right? Web app testers or whatever kind of tester that would test an application. Damn, I said test a lot. So web applications are critical for conducting business operations, right? We always go on the internet. We always go to a website. We go to, a, you know, we maybe we put our credit card data into something. We maybe we sign up for something and we're putting data somewhere in a database, right? So that database that houses your credit card data, you wanna make sure that data is secure, right? It's not susceptible to any kind of exploits or so on and so forth from the back end of that application where the data resides, right? So internally and externally, right? So if you're sitting inside of an organization, you don't want Sally to be able to see that data that, you know, all this PCI compliant data or credit card data or HIPAA data for, for uh, healthcare you guys should get the gist, right? The applications, you know, often use open source plugins, which can, you know, put these apps at risk for security breaches, like WordPress or some kind of CRM or whatever, you know? Like I said, anything is exploitable if it's in the wrong hands and the, the, the hacker or the adversary has enough time to create something to break it, right? So that's why it's a cat and mouse game in this industry, right? You're the patcher, you're the defender, then you have the attacker, the hacker that wants to one up you, right? They always want to get one over you, get over on you, you know? All right, so next one is I, ICS and OT, so, you know, security, uh, security assessment consultant. So this is something I don't really have too much experience with, like SCADA and all those systems. That's, that's not really my thing. So why is this important? Because security incidents, both international or intentional and accidentally in nature, right? So this is, like I said, this is something I don't really, I can't speak on this because I don't really know too much about this. But yeah, I guess it's pretty important and there's some courses that they recommend that you can get some more hands-on and, and learning. Two more. 
DevOps engineer. This is pretty cool, right? So Dev, DevSecOps engineer, obviously everything that's going into the cloud, we have Azure, we have GC, GCP, and then we have AWS. And this pretty much, like it says here, the goal is to bridge the traditional gaps between IT and security while, you know, ensuring fast, safe delivery, the applications and business functionalities, right? So we wanna make sure the DevOps people, DevSecOps, talk to the IT people and everyone's on the same pane of glass. And, you know, they have a pipeline and I don't really do too much of DevSecOps. I tinker with some Jenkins. I, I tinker with some things, but it's not really uh, something I do, but it's definitely out there as a career. The coolest jobs, the last one here, media exploitation analyst. Whoa. So cybercrime investigator. So if you want to look more into cybercrime, you can check this position out. But these are the 20 most coolest positions. And then let me actually like zoom this out a little bit. And I want to come all the way back up just for a second here. And I just realized this. I don't know why I didn't realize that before. So everything here, I don't know if you can see it across the board here is color coordinated. Right, so we have news to cyber. Let me see if I can make this bigger. So we have news to cyber is all black. Defender, obviously blue, blue team. Digital forensics, red offensive operations, red team. Cyber leadership is green. Cloud is orange here. Industrial control systems, a little whatever, uh, baby blue. And purple, purple team. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, so that concludes this video. And let me know if there's any other jobs out there that you think are really cool, right? And you find any of these the coolest careers in cybersecurity today in 2024. So my coolest, I wanna come back here. I wanna give you mine, my feedback. The coolest job I think is number two, number four, number 11. And uh, let's see, there was one more. Threat hunt number one, two, four, seven. Let's see what else I think is cool here. Obviously number 10, 13, 13, 16. And let's see, these are 17 and 20. So that's that's mine. So let's hear yours. Put yours in the this you know in the comments. I always say the description. I'll put mine in the description if anything, and put it in the comments and let me know what your thoughts are. And I hope this video found you know you guys found this informative. If you have any questions about the video, just go ahead and put it in the comments. You know, don't be a dick. That's all I'm saying. You know, I'm just trying to put this information out there for you guys to learn a little something something. And if you guys haven't seen this, you know, you guys see it now. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.